been here throughout the entire day as this search has been going on and obviously a major development at 521. The United States Coast Guard of Southwest Florida tweeted that that missing boater was found by a good Samaritan. I did reach out to FWC to try to get more details. They told us that we'll have to wait for more details. I also reached out to Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. I'm still waiting to hear back from them, but that search has continued on throughout these waterways. Again, we do know that boater went missing at 730 last night. And when we're talking about who this person is, according to Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, this is that boater that went missing around 730 last night. We even had viewers send us tips last night that they say crews were out here searching for that missing boater, but we were informed by officials early this morning to confirm that. Now, what we know right now is the missing boater that Male's name is Justin Riston, who was recently found, and this is the area that all the officials have been actively searching from last night throughout the entire day today. Yeah, the weather over the last 24 hours has certainly made things a bit more difficult. Um, we do have multiple agencies on scene. As I discussed, we've got the sheriff's office with two boats and a helicopter. Um, the United States Coast Guard has a boat in their helicopter. Uh, FWC has multiple boats. Um, Punta Gorda. So another important part of this search from Officer Brown there, he says the good thing is the water temperature is warm, about 80 degrees, and he said that someone can survive in that water for quite a while. CCSO did say Riston was not wearing a life jacket and did not have a cell phone with him at the time that he fell off of that boat. Again, we do want to point out some major developments just recently as the United States Coast Guard of Southwest Florida did tweet at 521 that that missing boater was found by a good Samaritan. Shari and Chris, we are still waiting to get more details on that missing boater's condition who was recently found. So again, we're waiting to hear back from the Coast Guard, FWC, as well as the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. Again, as you can tell that this is an active investigation, an active search, and the details are coming in by the minute. So of course, stay with Fox 4 as we continue to keep you updated on that boater's condition. Live here in Charlotte County, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.